Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is Pack With Me for Reading Festival. Uh, I just want to say I haven't finished buying things yet. I've still got so much to buy. So there will probably be a part two to this video. But I just wanted to show you what I've got so far. Because maybe it'll help some of you guys out and you'll be able to buy it if you're going to either Reading or a different festival this year. So I wanted to show you. Plus it's kind of fun. It gets me excited and in the spirit. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the video video. So basically I need to pack and not everything is here but everything is a mess so I just wanted to start packing little bits of it. Uh... <laughs> Also, I'm really sorry, I look so bad right now. But the first thing I want to show you is my tent. Oh my god, this is our tent. This is a Wow Pro Action six man two room tent. I'll pop a picture on the screen of what it looks like set up because it's amazing. It only cost us. £80, which for a six-man tent is pretty darn good if you ask me. It's super heavy though, which is like the one thing that's like... <sighs> but I got Ash. Hopefully Ash will carry this. If you want to get it, Argos. Alright, so let's start with packing the toiletries away. So we have some paracetamol. So we got some paracetamol. This is just cheap paracetamol from Boots. It costs like 20p but you never know when you're gonna have a headache or your friends will have a headache and you might need this. So definitely need to pack this. Then we have some waterproof plasters. These again were cheap ones from Boots. You just like, I never use these but what if someone falls over, they scratch their arm, you'll be the life and saviour because you will have the plasters. Then we have this, this is the Mallorca Love So Spray. Mm, it smells really good, it's like a really sweet scent which is my favourite scent. Obviously Redden is funny about aerosols so having some spray like this is great for making you smell nice. And it's small so it'll fit in your butt bag and it'll fit in this bag. Then we got some Alka-Seltzer excess tablets. These will take away your hangover. The first year I ever went, I had these. My mom was like, get Alka-Seltzer, it helps with the hangover. And actually, it tastes really gross, but just neck it. And then within half an hour, you're able to eat and drink again. And you can get these from Body Care for, I think they were like £2. They cost me £2 from Body Care. They charge a lot more for them than boots. So I would definitely recommend going to Body Care and getting them. Then again, Redding is funny about air. So I got some roll-on deodorant. This is just a cheap one from Boots just because I don't really like using roll-on. I didn't want to spend loads on it and then not use it ever again. Do you know what I mean? So I just got this cheap little 48 hour protection sensitive roll-on deodorant from Boots. Then we have some Smile Antiseptic Mouthwash because you still need to brush your teeth even if you're at a festival. Again, we have Smile Toothpaste for the exact same reason. Also, I got two, a pack of two toothbrushes from Boots, but I also got these ones from Primark. 75p for five toothbrushes. Are these from Primark? Yeah, Primark, 75p. So I got these as well, but I also got this one from Boots. I can't remember how much this was. I'm sure if one of them gets dirty, I've got six toothbrushes and again very important this is hand sanitizer you will need this because the toilets are gross and it's not easy to just go and wash your hands so you come out the loo squirt some on rub it in you know you're all done everything that is gross is gone so get some of this i might get some more of this just because i may run out but this one's from boots and I think it was a pound. Then these are just in case if you do want to go to the shower. I've got some bath and body shower gel stuff and some body lotion. These are mini ones that my dad brought back from his hotel. But you can buy little ones from Boots, Savers, that sort of place. But bring them just because you probably will go in the shower. And then that is it for the toiletry bag. Right, now for kind of still toiletries but not in a toiletry bag. Baby wipes because you will need them to take off your makeup or you will need them to clean your body. So you can get these Huggies ones. I've got some Huggies, I've got some Primark ones. These are pollution protecting wipes. Primark do pollution protecting wipes in store now and you get two for a pound. These ones are not pollution protect I don't think which is kind of sucks but if you do want pollution protect ones Primark and then you will need some pocket tissues I do usually take rolls of tissues but I think this year I'm just going to take loads of these just because I never use the rolls and I end up wasting them 
because I just carry these around with me all the time. Festivals don't really have a lot of toilet roll, so you need these. They'll fit in your bum bag too. All right, so I'm going to pack these now in my suitcase. I'm taking a suitcase because every year I take a bag and then I regret it and wish I'd taken a suitcase. So I'm risking it this year with a suitcase. Are you still there to delete the message? in the press nine to hear options press zero what are you talking about next is a little bit of accessories these are little clips and guys these are so expensive on amazon on boohoo on ebay i got all of these for one pound from bnm so if you are a fan of this whole clip thing that's going on there is some more but i've wore some of the pink ones literally one pound in bnm go and grab some and then we have some paper plates <laughs> These are Halloween ones, me and Mariam saw them, they're in the sale in B&M, but we thought they were kind of cool, even though they're Halloween, a little bit creepy. Next is this food, cool food bag. This was £2 from B&M, it says Sweet Summer, it's like a blue shade. I think this should fit all of our food in. There's four of us going and I think it's big enough for everyone's food, but at the minute, because we haven't got the food, I'm going to pop it in here. And then I'm gonna do bags next because I have a few, I have a selection. So we have obviously a bum bag. This one was from Primark. I believe it was like eight pound. I'm not the biggest fan of bum bags, I'm not gonna lie. Like I just feel like they kind of take things away from your outfits. So I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I do wanna take one just in case I decide to wear one. This one is okay, it's just plain black with some studs on it. Then I saw this and this is like, the greatest thing I've ever seen and I had a huge idea but basically this is from Dolls Kill from the brand Poster Girl. It says paw. Yeah so I was thinking you could clip this onto the belt and then put in all your you know things that you want to carry around with you. Obviously it's not big enough to fit in as much as the bum bag but if it's a day where you're not taking a lot I think this would look really cute and also it is cute. It also has a handle so if you want to carry it around but I would suggest always having stuff attached to you because you never know and you can't trust everyone then the last bag is this one this is also from primark it, it has a strap it's boxy so it's like a box shape but i always use my off-white bag which goes over the shoulder this one will go over the shoulder i didn't want to take my off-white bag to red in so i just wanted a plain black one that could match with everything and i went for this one it was like eight pounds so really cheap and they are my three bag options just in case I want to change it up. Then I have this pump. This is for an airbed. I suggest taking an airbed because they're so much easier to sleep on because otherwise you feel every stone in the floor if you use a mat. So I got this from Amazon. It was under a tenner. I haven't got my airbed and stuff yet, so I've still got to get a load of things, but this will come in handy and otherwise you'll be blown up with your mouth. Just invest in one of these and you will thank yourself later and i have loads and loads of socks <laughs> i got black and white because i don't know which color i want to wear on the day so i got black and white and then you need loads because your feet might get wet or muddy or whatever and it's just that sort of area like you're sleeping outside so be prepared and take loads of socks and loads of underwear as well and that brings me on to the next one underwear i haven't finished packing it yet i bought some new ones though these are just from primark same with the socks I I got comfy ones because I just want to be comfy so me and Marion went out I'm not bothered about showing these but we just got normal pants that are going to be comfortable because at the end of the day being comfortable is more important than wearing a fong at a festival I mean no <laughs> Then we have some hair accessories. So I have two different colored scrunchies. I also have a black one. So if I want to shove my hair up, I can do. I also got some thick bobbles from Primark. They were a pound and you get loads in there and they shouldn't pull on your hair too much because they're really thick. But also they'll help with heatless curls. So if you want to have heatless curls one of the days, get them. But I also have some earrings. These are from Dolls Kill. They say naughty and nice. They're in the sale. The thing is though, they're so heavy that my ear bleeds when I wear this one. I'm just gonna wear them anyway. <laughs> and then a selection of clips. So these are the two pink clips from that thing that I said I'd use some of them from. But I also have these, the tiny little ones, and they get the, my fringe off my face if I don't wanna have it in my face some of the days. They're from Boohoo, they were really, really cheap. And then there's just a random little flower one. It's better to have more and not wish you had some. <laughs> 
Then I also have a belt. This is first one of my belts. I have two or three that I'm taking. This one's from Boohoo, it was six pound. It has a little chain that comes on it, but it's thin. So, I don't know. That's the only thing I don't really like about it, is that it's thin, but I'm gonna take it anyway, because I bought it for Reading. So I went ahead and packed my clothes because you guys already know what clothes I'm taking. If you don't, I'll link the festival try on haul video down below. So I just packed them away in here. I probably may need to pack still like pajamas and things like that, but I'll do that closer to the time. Another thing I forgot to show you guys is fluffy socks. Make sure you take loads of fluffy socks to wear in the nighttime because it's so freaking cold. Like it gets so cold. I can't even tell you how cold I was last year. It was so unreal. So so take as many warm things as you possibly can, including fluffy socks. Then I have this necklace, which is from Dolls Kill. You would have seen it in my try and haul. It's like a barbed wire chain and then it has a she devil on it and I just think it's really cute as well as this anxiety one, which I wear all the time. So that's going in here too. And then the last thing I wanna show you guys are these. They are not nice. I would never, well I don't know actually, maybe with a pair of jeans they'd look okay. But the reason why I got these, these are from Primark, they're £3, is toilet shoes. So if you've been to a festival before you will know that going to the toilet is disgusting and vile and also if you have laces and you really need to pee, it takes ages to put the, um, to tie your laces together. So I just got these slip on shoes, I can just slip them on, run to the toilet for a wee. If they get ruined, I don't, they're only £3 so it's not so bad so I suggest getting some toilet shoes 100% I wanted to show you one thing actually that I didn't show you in the festival try on haul because I only painted it the other day but it's this coat that I've painted I got it from a charity shop for 4 99 and then I've just painted it with acrylic paint just because I didn't have fabric paint so I just used acrylic but it has loads of stuff on here so it says Harry Potter and the audacity of this bitch it has flames, checkers, a sad face, I went over the pockets and then the same on this side but it says choose life at the bottom and then here it says find what you die for and live for it and then it does have a daisy underneath there and then here it says stupid world with loads of little daisies and then on the back it says be a poem and then I have some flames and checker again and then some solar system stuff and then it says if you can help others if you can't at least don't harm them which I love because it's so true and then I have some checkered underneath the sleeves as well I just love this coat so much I can't stop looking at it and it's like every time oh also there's a plaster here that I attempted to paint that kind of goes on the elbow and then it says under there it says ouch um but yeah every time you look at it there's like something new that you can look at there's a new like quote you can see and i just love it and i'd definitely recommend you guys going into charity shops buying things and then painting them So that was it for part one you guys, part two will be coming as soon as I've bought everything else. I will show you and I will show you how to pack the food properly because it won't be staying in the suitcase. Make sure you're subscribed to see part two and if you like the video please remember to give it a huge thumbs up and remember to drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this video. Then I know what sort of things to film for you guys because obviously you're the ones that are important, it's you that I make this content for and if you don't enjoy it then what's the point? So I'd love to hear any feedback back or anything like that and yeah I guess until next time I will see you guys soon peace